Western Cape High Court has reserved judgment in Vinpro's liquor ban case. The Agricultural Association took government to court. Well, let's get the latest and get an understanding of really what is at issue here. We are joined by Rico Basson, the managing director, that's MD of Vinpro. Uh, Mr. Basson, good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday View on ENCA. Well, my understanding is that Vinpro had actually had taken government to court a few months ago when we were under stricter uh, 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 lockdown uh, uh, restrictions that affected the alcohol industry uh, very, very badly. But now that has somehow changed. Currently, we don't have a complete liquor ban. We have, uh, you can sell alcohol off-site, on-site, Monday to Thursday within certain, uh, certain, certain hours. So this particular case dates back months. What is at issue here? What is Vinpro's argument in court? And good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you, you're quite right. The, the case does have some history. Perhaps before I get there, when you talk about Vinpro, we represent uh, close to 3,000 grape growers. These are very small companies, uh, not the large corporates, and it includes a massive farming agricultural sector. And, and the reason for mentioning this is it's not something that you can just switch on and switch off. We uh, deal with a biological asset and... Uh, Alcohol bans, uh, especially if they come at a surprise, uh, makes it extremely difficult to manage the process. So, so you're quite right in the sense that the case has got history. We brought uh, the legal case at the end of January um, because after 12 months of uh, negotiating and consulting with government, we just reached the point as a last resort where a legal application was it why? because there is limited consultation. Uh, we are just as surprised at a family meeting as the general public about what will happen on a Monday morning. And uh, there is most certainly not a sharing of empirical data. And so you're worried, you're whole... worried. So you are worried, representing your Vinpro members, that uh, the next family meeting, if it's linked to a potential fourth wave, that we're hearing that some scientists are warning about that we could later this year face a fourth wave that you'll have another big surprise. So you're trying to preempt that in a way. So your application cannot be termed to be moot. Well, that is the uh, matter for the court to decide because our colleagues in government uh, think uh, it should be moot. Uh, it's a technical aspect for the reason that when we brought these, uh, the, the case, it was based on what I call the December regulations. We have since moved on to the June regulations and government argued that our case is moot because it's, uh, these reg sets of regulations are unique in each and every aspect, which we obviously don't agree with. Uh, it cannot be moot. Um, I, I think just to correct something, as I sit down and speak to you, there are still restrictions in place. We can only sell four days a week off con and restaurants most certainly are struggling because there is a tight curfew in place. But you are right that we are fighting a principle here, which I think are two key elements. Number one, we think that in the disaster management circumstances, um, there should be far more leniency towards provinces because provinces are governing liquor licensing in, in general course. They know exactly about their hospitals. And we think the, the big gap here is that government nationally makes the calls overbroad. And uh, we've seen in this wave exactly what we are arguing, that these, the, the peaks and the troughs in these uh, different provinces vary. So when you impose that ban, it is too late for the Free State and the Northern Cape, and it's far too early for the Eastern Cape and KZN. And that means that this sector is damaged structurally. Okay. So, so, so we're not yeah. saying that... Else so are you just very... I mean, the, you, you were making arguments in front of a full bench. I think there were three judges, of my understanding. You're now expecting them to come back to you to, to rule, and, and, and you are hopeful they'll rule in favour. But are you arguing that... The government should be sensitive to the provincial differences. And as Vinpro, because grapes grow mainly in the Western Cape, when the Western Cape's turn comes, it should be viewed differently from KZN, from Gauteng, from Limpopo and elsewhere. Is that you may, uh, part of your argument? 
So I think there are, there, are, there are three main arguments, but I think the first two are important. So number one, uh, we have got a structure of government argument, which is the one I've mentioned where, where yes. decisions are made. It's, it's not the one or the other. We think it should be uh, a far more collaborative uh, approach based on, on, on scientific data. Number two, we are questioning some of the empirical data. Um, why are we questioning it? Because after 18 months, government hasn't shared any of those data which they base that, and, and okay. even in the latest ban, um, they differ with their own advisors. And, and number on, three, on sorry, yeah, be... sorry to rush, to rush you, we're just running out of time, heading towards the top sure. of the hour at two o'clock. So it's, the, it's empirical data, you want that. And the third one? It's, it's constitutional rights, so deprivation of rights, which is a constitutional matter. Um, so to this point, we, we've argued last week, we are now waiting the outcome. Uh, we're not sure to give a time frame on that. It could take uh, a couple of weeks. And depending on that outcome, we will decide what are the next steps. In the interim, we are working on rebuilding the industry. It is it's in a dire situation for a number of reasons, but we remain committed to rebuilding, notwithstanding the context in court with government. Yeah, when are you expecting to hear the decision of the court? It's difficult to predict. Um, it, it might take three to four weeks. Um, and, and, and as I say, based on that, we, we will take it forward. Also difficult to give an opinion now in terms of, uh, yeah. of, of the, of the win-loss ratio around that. Let's leave that up for the full bench to deliberate and, uh, and make, make a formal verdict. Yeah, well, I saw one of the judges commenting in a report saying that both sides made very strong arguments that they are going to be having a tough time in making a decision. Good luck to you, Vinpro. We'll have to wait and see what the court uh, decides. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time there.